Hi again, this is Doug from X Frames FPV, and today we're doing another review and kind of overview of one of my frames that I actually use a lot in my builds, and this is the ZMR220. Now, the ZMR220 is basically a clone of the QAVR, uh, four millimeter arms, um, two millimeter base plate, 1.5 millimeter top plate. And as you can see, it's 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 really close to the original. Um, doesn't come with these purple standoffs. This is for a customer in New Jersey, and he requested that, and was glad to do it for him. Um, but let's take a look a little bit of, of what this build entails. I was going to do a build video on it, but I'm not comfortable enough with the camera, and it was just taking me too long. So um, we'll just kind of go over it here. These are the DYS Race Edition SE2205s. I chose the 2300 KV motors um, for this customer. These are the Pro Editions, which actually have the soldering pads as opposed to wires coming off of them for a cleaner build. As far as the ESCs, these are the DYS XS30s. Uh, these are the BL Heli S. Um, ESCs and they're very fast and uh, you can you can tell the difference with them from the moment you spin them up you can actually see the rotation of the props it's it's very interesting um, I haven't mounted the ESCs yet so if you're noticing that they're crooked no need to comment I know that they are um, this is it would be um, my pilot series now we talked earlier about pilot and elite series and elites more for the advanced um flyer pilot series is more for somebody that um wants something to have fun with that that can be competitive now normally i would put the 20 amp escs on this but they were out of stock um and so we went ahead and went with a 30 amp um, no need for it for this setup that we're using but um, that's what they had and the customer was glad to have them put on uh, standard for me is these XT60 PDBs love these things same thing with the F3 flight controller um, and you can tell if you look in there you can tell it's pinned set up and servo connected um, or servo lead connected the reason I do that is for customers um, that if they have an issue if there's an issue with a flight controller or something like that i can just ship them out one that's already prepped and ready for them and they can just plug it in and unplug it so um for my own build i do hard wires but unless the customer asks for it i don't do hard wires on um these custom builds now um the the thing for this customer is he wanted something that was fast and agile but not over the top and that's kind of kind of the way we went um, we were kind of had a budget that we were dealing with and wanted it to be in a certain budget range and and we were able to hit that by uh, making a few cuts that um that don't affect it overall as far as performance um, like I said, um, these would have normally been 20 amps, so that's one place we were able to cut the budget. Um, he had his own cameras, and um, so that helped it quite a bit because, you know, these, these cameras are $40 to $45. But um, one of the places we shaved a little money here was we used the Eching ET200. This is a 200 milliwatt. VTX and it's a great VTX for the money does the job does what you need to do um, I have this on my son's build and we've had no problem with it and I put them on a few other builds and so I've, I feel very confident that this is not an issue um, other than that that's really about it um, a little bit of foam padding up here for the batteries and then the pyro drone love surge over there so I always put his um, rubberized lipo battery holders up there um, but other than that it's pretty straightforward and these are really great flyers uh, perform very well you can be competitive with this and they're very durable so 
Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask me and I'll do my best to answer them. Like I said, I've been doing this for years um, on the building side, but I am brand new to the video side. So uh, I apologize for any mistakes that I did make or may have made. But anyways, yeah, overall this for the price point and there's a lot of a lot of bang in this in this little package so any questions again feel free to let me know and subscribe and comment thanks so much and have a great day and enjoy flying